What's up, YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter back, and today we are working on part three of our really large customer wrap coin roll hunt. Uh, in parts one and two, we did do dimes and pennies, and then we just finished up nickels in part two. Moving on to quarters for part three. This is $500 worth of customer wrapped coins. As I said, I think in my very first video, um, I weighed all these rolls, and I have a lot of rolls that are going to have extra coins in them because they were like 234 grams or 239 grams. So I know that we're going to make a little bit of money on this hunt because we've got a bunch of overstuffed rolls. With that said, we're hoping to find Ws. We're hoping to find silver. We're hoping to find all of the various statehood uh, and America the Beautiful errors and varieties as well. So with that said, let's get this pushed back and jump into these rolls. Let's go ahead and do roll number one together. We do have a nice 2020 Salt River Bay um, that is obverse facing. Maybe we'll get lucky and that'll be a W. We'll hunt this first roll together and then I'll just bring you guys in as we find things. Uh, just so that this video doesn't get to be too long. Quick check for silver edges, don't have any. That is a Philly, so no W there. There's our first bicentennial of the box. It is a Philly, 1976 Philly, 1876 to 1976. The Denver has a DDO that we will be looking for if we find any Denver coins, uh, Denver bicentennials. Any spitting horse on that? I don't see it. No, sir. No spitting horse. Look at that. Two in a row. I don't get a lot of these, um, this Delaware 1999, but I have managed to find two or three of the spitting horses considering how few of them I get a chance to look at. All right, just a couple of quarters left, and then I'm going to go off camera just to keep the length of the video down. And I'll bring you guys in as we find interesting things. There's a 65. Look at that for the DDO. I believe there's a, a DDR on this one as well. I don't check for that one very often. It's too bad. We've got another 2019 W possibility, but it was a bust. All right. So first roll, we do have a bicentennial. We're going to jump into the rest of these, and I'll bring you in as soon as we find something interesting. This is actually roll number two, and something else I've started to do uh, with my customer wrap coins. Canada's got a lot of, I'm sorry, magnetic coins, and these are some rare earth magnets from a Rubik's Cube, of all things. And I have started to just rub this along the edge of my customer wrapped coins. And I have found it's an easy way to detect if you're gonna get anything foreign or Canadian in a roll. So I thought that was pretty cool. So right about there in the roll, I'm anticipating finding maybe something Canadian, could be something else foreign, but let's jump in there and have a look together and see how smart that magnet is. Let's see here. Oh yeah, see that super silver edge? Now had you not run the magnet across that, you would have been led to believe when you opened this that that was probably silver. Very likely um, that or something very likely Canadian or potentially like a, a plated quarter. But because we know it's magnetic, look at that. It is a 2009 Canadian quarter. And it's actually in really, really good shape. Beautiful quarter. Canada makes really, really good looking money. We'll put it up as a find, but it is our first Canadian coin, first foreign coin. We're on roll nine or 10, and I did not do the magnet trick this time. So I don't know what I've got in here, but I definitely have something shiny. I mean, based on the reading, I'm gonna guess that it's uh, Canadian again. And just for fun, since I have you guys here, let's see, here's my magnet. And there it is. It is a Canadian. Ooh, this one's kind of an old one, 1968. Now, unfortunately, because it's magnetic, uh, 68 was a split year. I know that was the year that they, they did summon silver and summon nickel. Um, if it were silver, I don't think it's magnetic. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that to see how we tell definitively 
but I have a feeling because it's magnetic that tells us there's no silver in it. That said, we got two Canadians on the box and still just that bicentennial. So it's been a really, really slow hunt and I've been trying to open rolls that all have the same wrapper just to see if, you know, it's easier to tell if maybe these came from a collector or a laundromat or what have you, because honestly, I don't know. But uh, these are the last four of this type of wrapper and I uh, have been doing my little magnet trick and it looks like we might have something Canadian there. We might have something Canadian there. Nothing in that last one. We do still have those two Canadians. I've got four Philly Bicentennials and one Denver Bicentennial. Other than that, it's been a really, really slow hunt. I figured we'd open these two rolls that have the magnetic coin in it together, just so we can see what that looks like coming out of the wrapper. And there it is, right there. We have another Canadian, a 20, looks like a 2015. Oh, and I dropped it. There's our Queen Elizabeth. A couple of shinies in that roll. Let's check this other one. Let's see, it's not that one. There it is, right there. Let's check this roll out. You can see right down here on the end. We have another super shiny edge, 1999. This one has the uh, sailboat on it. But there, actually this one's a Canary Island, so, or a Cayman Islands, I'm sorry, that's why it's got the sailboat on it. This one's not Canadian. This one's from the Cayman Islands. All right, well, let's get these last uh, four rolls of this wrapper type hunted, and we'll move on to the next wrapper type. So I'm going through those two rolls that had the Canadian quarters, or really the Canadian and the Cayman Islands quarters, and I'm about halfway, well, about three quarters of the way through that first roll, and we have our first official find of the hunt. You'll see here that I have a 2008 Arizona, and right here, it's called the Extra Cactus Variety. I've shown off a lot of these on my channel, uh, but it, basically what it is is a dye chip that covers up the uh, engraver's initials. So this is our first official find. It is an error. Um, not worth too much, couple of bucks on eBay, but uh, it's a find, so I'm happy to have it. We are nine rolls from the end, and I wanted to bring you in because I, I found a roll that I think is kind of trapped in time here. Um, this is the remainder of the roll, but the first half of it, I just started going through and it took me a second to realize what was going on. But this entire roll is full of like 99 through 2004. And some of them are in really, really good condition uh, considering their age. You know, we're talking some of these are 20 plus year old coins. But I've just got them laid out here so you can see. But all of them, I mean 2000, 2000, what is that one? 2000, 2000, there's an 04, uh, there's a 2002. So literally this whole roll seems to be kind of 99 through 2004. So it makes me wonder if maybe some of these rolls came from a collector that maybe had rolls of these things, or maybe uh, somebody had sort pre-sorted this from a box and was putting them together by, you know, the first five years of 2000 uh, or the state quarters or something like that. But this is the first roll that I've kind of paid attention and noticed it. A lot of the rolls have had some random 2021s and 2022s in them. But uh, this one was just really interesting and thought I would show it off. Uh, I'm actually going to hang on to a lot of these because I do have the first state quarter book up through 2003 or 4. And I'm going to see if I can upgrade any of those coins because some of these were really nice. We are four rolls from the end and I wanted to bring you guys in. We're about halfway through that roll and I've already pulled the coin that we're going to look at. It is the 2005 Kansas and it is an In God We Rust error. So let me get this under the scope here and put it up here on the screen. There it is. The T is still barely visible, but this would qualify as an In God We Rust. And it's actually, for, for all of these that I found, this is probably one of the nicer ones from a detail perspective. You can see here, I mean, we've got a little bit of damage on the coin, bag marks and whatnot, and there's a couple of dings in it, but... Uh, this is one of the nicer ones I've found. A lot of the ones that I normally get are pretty well worn, but uh, this one looks good. Another find for the box. 
So what you're looking at is the remnants of the very last roll. It was a bunch of early 2000s quarters, but we did manage to squeeze out one final find, and it is that in God we rust error. So here's another example, and I'll just flip it over to show you. It is another one of our 2005, I think it's the Kansas. But you can see very clearly that T is more or less missing. I mean, you can... Depending on the light I put it in, I can make it almost completely disappear. But this definitely qualifies as the In God We Rust. And even the I in the N is starting to become a little bit faint. And just to compare it to the other one that I brought you guys in for, let's push that one out of the way. So the second example is actually a little bit better than the first one that we had. But I'm going to call them both a find. They're part of this box, so we're going to put them on the board. Well, this is going to wrap up the quarter hunt. And just a real quick recap, uh, the couple of errors that we found were, I had two of those Kansas and God We Rust errors, which I showed earlier in the video. Uh, for those of you that are curious, these are going for anywhere from about 3 to about $10 on eBay, depending on condition. So not a bad find. We've got two of them. Uh, the extra cactus variant, I did not look up. It's been a while, but this is kind of a $1 to $3 coin, depending on condition. That's where the real value in this particular hunt is. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find a lot more errors I normally do. Uh, we did have the four foreigns that I called out, our Cayman Islands and our three Canadians, and it was always fun today, of course, playing our little magnet game. We did end up with a ton of bicentennials. We had 13 of the Phillies. We had 11 of the Denvers, and of course, all the Denvers were checked for uh, the DDO. Uh, I do hang on to these and typically will sell them from time to time, but uh, tons of bicentennials today. And in rewrapping all the quarters, this is what I had left over. So this would be my last roll or our 50th roll of quarters. These are stacks of eight, so two, four, six. One more quarter would give us $8. And then I would need eight more to make the last $2. So I'm, I need nine quarters. So if I take these nine off and put them over here, this is how many extra quarters were stuffed in the rolls that I had. So um, actually I need to do, no, that's right. Uh, so that's a lot of extra quarters. Normally in customer wrap rolls you get shorted. So I was pleasantly surprised to have all of these extra quarters. Um, you also probably saw laid out in front here a couple of Washington quarter books. And unfortunately I didn't think to do this until very late in the hunt. Uh, considering how many of the early 99s, 2000s, 2001s we had in this hunt. Uh, but I was able to upgrade a handful of quarters in this book. I did get these as part of a coin collection that I bought last year, and they were already started. And I slowly, when I think about it, fill them in. And you can see I'm missing the Mississippi 2002D here, the Alabama 2003D there. And I think in this particular book, which one is that one? It is the Iowa 2004. And some of these coins could be upgraded. I'm just grabbing them out as I find them. Uh, let's see here. I've got a second book, and I think the second book has even less to fill in. Let's see here. So this book is almost complete. It is the same book, so I don't know why this guy had two of them, but I'm still that Mississippi 2002 D seems to evade me. I'm sure I had one in this hunt. I just didn't grab it. And we are missing only one other coin, and this one is the Michigan 2004D. So, with that said, all in all, this was a fun hunt. We didn't have as many finds in the quarters as I was hoping to have. But uh, anytime we find kind of more valuable in God We Rust errors, that always makes me happy. Uh, all in all, it was a great three-part series. It was a lot of fun getting into the other denominations and looking for some other stuff uh, over the last couple of days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, let me know by dropping on down below this video, clicking on that like button, and uh, leaving me a comment. Let me know what you liked or didn't like. And if you're new to the channel and you like coin roll hunts, please consider clicking on that subscribe button, then clicking on that little bell and selecting all so you get notified each and every time I release a new video. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel quite a bit. With that said, I'm hoping to get a bunch more coins this week, so more coin roll hunts will be coming. You guys take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.